All right, what's going on, mates? Welcome back. It's uh, we're doing another Ravnica draft here, but we, we're doing a bit of a goof on it. Uh, ju- having a bit of a laugh, having a bit of a go at this draft. Uh, Juposhi, also known as Nature's Little Treasure in the chat, uh, has has commissioned a stipulation where we have to speak in British accents for the entirety of the draft. So, uh, uh no, no offense meant towards any of our any of our uh European countrymen. Uh, that don't don't want to insult, don't want to offend. I just we're just doing a little bit of a goof here, so hopefully it's all in good fun. And uh, this is uh, this is where we're at right now. So what's? Oh well, that's a pretty easy pick now, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't that a good? Isn't this is, it? This is this probably the best. Uh, it's probably the best card you could probably take. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it. I wish it was still like fifteen tickles. But it looks like it's dropped down to about five, but that's still uh, it's still, still five quid. It's <laughs> it's about five pound now, so that's nice. All right, I'm just gonna take it and put it in my little pack. All right, that's uh, that's where we're at right now. What's uh what 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 you say here? What's the pick you think? You got a little ratty ratty man? You got a little gorgon? I'm, hello, are you there? I'm thinking. Okay, well you can talk while you think. It's not they're not mutually exclusive traits. It is for me. Oh well, that's take that flying dog. Are you are you doing a British accent or a country <laughs> accent? <laughs> I don't know. I also don't. know. I'm not going to take the bat second pick. It's not good. I don't know why you think it's good. I, I isn't it? No. <laughs> It's, it's not a good card. I don't know why you're... It's, like, you it's a to, terrific card. It's based on nothing, actually. I'm going to take the Pitiless Gorgon that actually survived. I'm going to take this Luminous Bonsai, I imagine. That's a good third pick. Oh, I'm surprised this is still in the pack, I guess. But that, it, having two cards in the pack that are better than better than this is... Yeah, that's a reasonable... Uh, expect. It's, I expect that to be the case. Country Mike, I love you. You say you got some fans here. For your, your Texas accent. Pilot Eater, thanks so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. That's, uh, that's very nice of you. Luminous bonds him right in the yarbles. Can someone up- <laughs> y- y- hmm. Can someone update the stipulation to say that we have to do the entire draft in British accents? Or maybe a British accent and a country accent, because Mike doesn't know how accents work in different parts of the world. You don't know about the yarbles? I know you're trying to say British words, but not actually using an accent when you do so. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess he's got me there, folks. I guess I can't really argue with an isn't it. I kind of just want the Temple Garden here. I'm going to be honest, I'm not very good at a British accent. Well, you see, here's the thing about that, you know. A lot of people say they're not good at a certain thing, and instead of actually being better at it and, and practicing it, they just use the the crutch and say that oh, I'm not good at this. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't practice me accent all night long. I'm saying you have an opportunity right now to get better at it, but instead you're just complaining about how not good I'm at it. That's what I'm doing. Anymore. Okay, well then that's good. You're doing well. I uh, I approve of your practicing methods. <sighs> oh, did you hurt your little elbow? I did. I did. Oh, well, God save the queen. God save your mum. Is she in danger? Would you say? Every night. Hmm. She's in danger every night. That's because she's a prostitute. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I guess you got me there, didn't you? Jeez. Got him. Oh, you want me to talk about my British government plan? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. Every day is Chicken Sunday. That's because she's a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm doing a little bit of an Australian <laughs> accent. <coughs> I don't know what the difference between them is. It was so on the nut. You don't know the difference between a British accent and an Australian accent. I think I do. I just don't know how to do it in my- <laughs> I'm sorry, what was the last part you said? Yeah. Felt like you trailed off a bit there, mate. 
Oh my god. Bulk Foils, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Oh my god. Remember that time you called my mother a prostitute? I do. Wow, that was something, wasn't it? It was only a minute ago. Uh, is that a British accent you're doing there? Oh, I, don't, I think you're doing like six different accents at once. I'm not good at this. <laughs> well, you're sure good at calling me mom a prostitute, aren't you? Rise rain. Uh, you know what? All right. Uh, you, 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 it's you, easier for me when I do... It's catch, easier catch for me when I do catch for... It's like you're not even trying. I'm trying. It's just not easy. Oh. Well, that's too bad. You got a whole draft to go. You better get used to it, mate. It's not like it's going to stop as soon as the picks are done. We got to do the whole thing. Depends on how good we play. Might be over quick. We still got to do the whole thing. That doesn't change depending on how good we do. Are you thinking? You think about how to respond to that? I blacked out for a minute. All right. Well, that doesn't surprise me. <clears throat> I was kind of reading the chat. I have real tears on my face from where we are. If you had fake tears, who splashes themselves with fake tears? Well, that's just a weird I thing do. to do. I take water bottle and spray it in my eyes. Are you Scottish? Maybe. Me eyes? That's not <laughs> even a Brit. That's not even a, a. That's not even. They say me. Can I get some confirmation in the chat that British people don't say me, me eyes? We don't have any. We didn't have any British viewers. It's, it's like you're alternating between Scottish and country and, and British now. It's not easy. It's you keep saying that. I understand it's not easy. You don't have to keep defending that it's not easy. I'm you going just, to. Well, that doesn't seem very productive now, does it? Every day. Uh, oh boy, it's, it's chicken. Oh Sunday. boy, here we go. What if I do this voice? Does that count? No, nothing you're doing right now counts for really anything. Why not? That's my chicken Sunday playing. They don't say me. They just call them undies over there. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, you know. Oh, it's a Golgari Fine Broker. It's a pretty good pickup here. That's probably it's probably going to push us way towards Golgari and and less towards Celestia. So it means we can play this imp and we can just take the Fine Broker and feel okay about that. And the second Fine Broker. This is exactly what we want to be seeing. What was the rare in that last pack? I don't actually even remember. It must not have been very uh, exciting. It sucked. I'm sorry, I don't even know what you're saying anymore. It's, it's like you're not even speaking English. Proper Queen's English is what I mean. I even. ain't never speak English before in my life. You did the me thing again. No one, that's not even a... Re oh, Clarion. It was It was a defiant... Defiant Clarion? Radiant Clarion? That has some kind of Clarion. In the chat, someone agreed with me. I, I appreciate the chat Clarion... Cl clarion on that up. Clarion... Clarion all... Cl cl you know what? Forget it. The meme is not. It gets to a point where the meme's not even worth it. You know, it's just uh, it's just not even. It's a, you just you miss the window where the meme is actually good. That's a lava coil and an artful takedown. If we had red instead of uh, or if it were black instead of blue instead of the uh, the white here. <clears throat> Unfortunately for red. There's no black red or green red, so you're going to miss out on that. There is, however, Golgari and Demir, so you get two colors here, but I think it's probably just Burglar Rat. We want more on-color cards, not less, not fewer on-color cards. Swear on me, Burglar Rat. No one is swearing on anything of yours. It just doesn't even make any sense to do so. I don't know why we'd want to do that. I'm going to take the Golgari Guildgate here. <coughs> the, Lum <coughs> the Luminous Bonds is a pretty easy splash here, so I really don't have a problem. Sticking with the one. One slutty queen buck. I don't even know what that means. Is that... If you... I feel like you... You need to not be offending the queen here. That's not... It's not really the direction we want to be going for the stream. I'll take another rat. You don't like these rats? Is that what you're trying to tell me right now? Hello? I'm talking to you. Can you do... Oh, I'm sorry. Were you talking to me? Yes, because there's no one else in the room with me. So I, when I speak... There's a whole off... chat. You could be talking to them. 
Got him. It's, uh, it, it's how, many, how many burger lights do you think we need? How many do you want? Seven. Love and the accents seem to be straight out of Mary Pop. That's perfect. That's all I've ever wanted to hear. That's probably the best compliment I can get. <clears throat> that's all I'm. That's all I'm looking for. I figure if 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 Brits like you, Laurie, and and Tom Hiddleston can do uh, an American accent, American. If they can do an American accent, if they can do an American accent, then I I can do. <clears throat> I can I can at least. That try. was sort of off when you said American. Just like I did. Yeah, it's a hard word to say. It's a hard word to say with a British accent, you see. A <laughs> hundred goddamn bits. It's either it's either this or this. I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna go with the hired poisoner. It's got a job, you know, and I think it's important. It's important to give your poisoners jobs, I'd Shut say. You don't really want to <laughs> Hey, we got one British pound chip chip cheerio. That's great. I appreciate the conversion there. That's very that's very on brand for the for the stipulation, you see. I'll take a demotion. I'm not super excited about it, but I'm not uh, I'm not unexcited about it either, you know. Just please don't start yelling racial epithets from the roof. Did they do that in that movie? What's the? I I, I couldn't actually tell any of the accent you had at the end there. They didn't. Did they do that in that movie? I don't even know. It's like. <laughs> It's like you're kind of doing like a poo from The Simpsons, but also like a kind of Scottish-British country amalgamation. It's really like four accents in one that you're doing here, and it's... I'm it's, a man of many accents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's a jack of all accents, master of none, apparently. Oh, right, a right. foil no hide fire rocks! Well, that's exciting. Not only is this card worth three, but foil version is worth 29 tickets! <laughs> What? <laughs> what? That's a thirty ticket null hide ferox right there. That's freaking beautiful. That's a god that's a that's a what? That's a glorious treasure. What does gonna... that card even do? You don't know what this card does? It's got no. hex proof. You can't cast non creature spells. <clears throat> it's a six six hex proof for four. And if they make you discard it, like with the burglar rat, then you just put it right into play. It's like a Bayloth. The reason that the foil is so expensive is because redemption on Magic Online is a thing. So when you're trying to collect foil sets to redeem, the the mythics are much, much harder to... They're more expensive because, you know, you want to be able to collect them. You have to get all of them to redeem one foil set. So if you want the actual physical Nullhide Ferox in foil, you got to collect them online. So I want to take this Hatchery Spider because these seem like the perfect rares for all... Fraud deck. This is a this is almost a thirty ticket rare. That's pretty good. And that's I believe that. Uh, that's a big boy. Yeah, it's like, just like your mother, <laughs> just like your mum. She's a big boy, you know. Is she? she? Yeah, she's absolutely huge. She's the size of uh, she's she's probably larger than my flat if I had to guess. Oh, bounty of mine. All right, well, just give me all the good green rares. I, agree I suppose. With that. It doesn't matter. It's factual, you see. It's a you can't you can't disagree with facts. It's not America where all the fake news is. You just gotta you when you know something's a fact, you just believe it as a fact because that's how it works. Your mother's fat. That's that's a fact. And another you, Golgari fine broke. Okay, well we're just gonna take. You a said third. she was as big as your flat. That's impossible. That's impossible. I feel like now you're doing like a Swedish chef kind of accent. <laughs> that's impossible. <laughs> I think it's I think the stipulation is actually more fun because I just get to kind of figure out what accents you're actually trying to do here rather than rather than the British ones. Hey, she's the size of Big Ben and Buckingham Palace combined, or as we say here, the size of two fully grown Americans. Oh, it got real dark there for a second. Oh, that's 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 trying to uh, play to America's weight problem. You see, it's got uh, they got a they got a weight issue there in America. Thank you for explaining the joke. Well, sometimes you need some you need some assistance. Is all I'm saying. Oh, I think it's uh, ah, this pack is not very exciting now, is it? In it. Uh, yeah, this deck looks pretty good. Uh, we, there is another fine broker that was in our our first pack, so uh, we might be able to get that back if no one else is interested. And I will gladly play a fourth one over the two Ceratox. Sometimes, uh, sometimes when when you misbehave, we have to have a little Ceratox. You understand? Uh, it's probably... I don't know if it's locked. I was just going to make that joke, but a little differently. Yeah, well, it's probably going to be... But you beat me to it. Yeah, it was probably going to be worse. Oh, maybe it's like the lot less giant. <clears throat> I could see maybe playing this guy. That card's garbage. Uh, it's just, it's your mother. Your mum's garbage. 
takes garbage to no garbage. I saw your mom eating trash right out of the garbage can the other day, so uh, I'm not even sure. You didn't see nothing. Yeah, she was eating it straight out the trash. Yeah, right. I'm sorry you don't believe me about your mom, but it's, it's a fact. That's because you're a goddamn liar. I'm sorry, say that again? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I'm good, thank you. <clears throat> eh, I probably don't want a second pilfering him, but I think the crawl forges are actually reasonable in the... Uh, in, in the, against, like, the Boros matches where you want the life gain. I guess the fine broker didn't come back, but we got this uh, 400 ticket null, null hide Ferox here. And an Assassin's Trophy? Our deck is actually... This is about a $35 draft. I don't care about the Sundew. Or I'm probably just going to take the Locket. I don't think we need another 2-drop here. And this is a pretty late awful takedown. But I guess someone's going to get a little reward. I'm just going to take the Gorgon here. And an Okapi. I'll take the Never Happen just in case they have some kind of shenanigans and we want to board that in. Our deck's looking pretty good. I really don't... I don't even think we need to splash the Luminous Bonds to be quite honest. What's the point of messing up the mana base for that? Eh, Pilfering Imp's not super impressive. I like all the two drops. Uh, I could take out a Ceratok. We have 20 creatures, that's too I many. I could see cutting one Gorgon. <clears throat> Gorgon? A Gorgon? <clears throat> we have to add a card now. So we get a little bit of a freebie here. I probably just want a main deck Crushing Canopy. That actually seems pretty good. I feel like there's very few matchups where the Crushing Canopy is not good. So I There's a lot of enchantments. A lot of enchantment removal. I'm sorry, what'd you just say? Enchantment removal. I think I think you're just talking like normal and putting a little inflection on your words. It's not really <clears throat> it's not really how an accent works, mate. I have a it's a small accent. That was literally just you're just talking normal there. I did not. I'm not so sure. Can we get the chat to weigh in on this this mic accent? I'm not even sure what's happening right now. I hope they have a burglar rat on turn two. That's really what I'm hoping for. It's not really an accent, mate. You just got to put a little more heart into it. You feel like you you have no heart in it. It's a small accent, but it checks out. All right, well, it is Juposhi's stipulation. So, you know. Yeah, see, there you go. There you go. <laughs> I'm an Englishman who's lived in America too long, so I don't know how to do it anymore. So you're saying because you lived in America for so long that you, your accent turned Scottish? Yes. Oh, that's fascinating. I've never heard of such a thing, but all right. I was hoping for a Gorgon there, so we didn't get wrecked by this guy, but no, I guess this is fine. Oh, holy crap, what a pull. Am I, you are correct. I agree with you no less than a god. This is no less than 28 ticks is what it is, am I right? Click on that link. I don't want to because I don't like getting demonetized, you see. How to do a British accent, are you ready? I'm Gareth Jameson. I'm an actor and a voice coach from www.londonvoicelessons.com. Here are some tips for working on your voice. I'm just going to play this guy for now because it's better mana use and uh, I don't really want to be locked out of playing spells for now, so... If I have an equivalent... You might want to do a British accent because you're in a play, or maybe... This is too much to watch right now on the stream. I don't really want to teach Mike while we're playing right now, but... We'll watch it in between games, I imagine. Oh, it's Illuminous Ponds, and we have the Crushing Canopy in hand. That's actually quite convenient. What? I hope I can draw something I can cast here. That's, well, that will be cast one day, I imagine, but... Uh, why do you not play the... the Ferox? I literally explained it. I don't want to be locked out of playing my own spells. You can't cast non-creature spells. So if I have a five mana card, when I have five mana out, I'll just play a 4-4 four four instead of a 6-6. Six six. So it wasn't, it's not rocket science, mate. Who needs a dumb crushing canopy? That thing's got heck proof. <laughs> uh, yeah, it does, you're right. It does have hex proof, that's true, but... Um, you know, it's... They can pay two mana to ignore the hex proof, and then we just have this guy sitting on the board with Illuminous Bonds. And we're locked out of attacking forever. So, you know, in that situation, it gets kind of awkward.
See, for right now, I'm just going to block this guy, and if they want to use a combat trick, that's fine, because I've got a fine broker in hand. Instead, we just get to eat this guy in two for one, then. We traded a Luminous Bonds and a Boros Challenger for a crushing Canopy. And that's pretty alright, I'd say. Canopy. Swan Companion. Yes, yeah, so an Obi-Wan Canopy. An Obi a crushing Obi-Wan Canopy, you see. One, two, three, four, five. We have seven mana sources right now. I guess we can just play the Nullhide Ferox, if you know what I'm saying. Michael, do you know what I'm saying? Good talk. I'm glad we had this conversation. It was very enlightening. Why does everything you say end like this, you see? It's everything Mike says, it ends with an upward inflection, you see. What's that about, mate? That's just how I talk. Uh, <laughs> All right, then. I guess I can't argue with how you talk, mate. It's, I guess I can't argue with how you talk. <laughs> you see what I'm doing there? I'm just I'm doing a little meme on you. Say, say chonging a biff. I don't know what that means, but I feel like I just incriminated myself in some way, so. Oh, 100%. Yeah, that's, fa that's sad. I was, uh, I, I, I'd like to confirm that I have no interest in chonging a biff myself. Uh, it's just... Uh, Something I was I was compelled to say due to the chat, you see. It's not a preference of my own. It's just, uh, well, you see, it was, I was a bit forced to do so. I feel like I almost want to draw some cards here and then just play something cheap because our odds of hitting a two or three drop here, based on the, the quality of our deck, is pretty high. I also don't think we need eight mana, so I'm going to crack this guy. Hey, be careful. Don't, uh... Don't ruin your life, you see. <clears throat> and then we get to play a child tonight. We have double fine broker in hand. It's almost like we can... I already have. Oh, that's... <laughs> Stop being a racist against Liverpool. I'll have you know of the Beatles, one of my favorite bands. Uh, I'm trying not to get locked into a Beatles-type accent now by just by thinking about it, so... I'm trying to stick with the, the... Are they from Liverpool? Your mother's from Liverpool. You know how I know? No, because she isn't. Because she's fat, that's why. <laughs> That makes no bloody sense. Well, neither does your mum's weight problem, but here we are, so. No, it makes perfect sense. She eats too much of the chocolates. The chocolates? <laughs> That's... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He's... We're having a good time here. Me and Michael, we're having a, a, a go at each other, so that's nice. Uh, I, I'm i not sure what to do about this. I think we can probably... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. got to wait one turn because we got the Ferox. So I'm just going to attack with the, the Ferox himself. And then we're going to get back the Crawl... That's a thick boy. That's like your mum. <laughs> She's a thick boy as well. Why are you always going about me, mum? I was just going about your mum earlier, if you know what I'm saying. I think you obsessed with my mum. I think you obsessed... <laughs> Did you just go from like a southern plantation owner into a, bl a British man? Maybe. Well, that's unfortunate. <clears throat> Goblin locksmith, eh? He's like, he's got the job, you know. It's it's good to it's good to be employed. He's not very good at it. David Styles, welcome back. Really appreciate the resub. Really, really grateful for your contributions to the channel. Wait, did you say he's not very good at it? Mm-hmm. What's it like being that rude? You want to talk? What am I one to talk about? Being rude? Yeah, rude all the time. I'm factual. You're basically non-stop rude. I think you're confusing rudeness for factualness, my friend, where I say things that are real and true and you don't like them, so you call them rude, but I'm just being f I'm just being fact fact factual. Your mother's a prostitute, Michael. Takes one to know one. Explain what that means. You I think, got dang prostitute. Oh, I think our opponents died based on our superior advantage here. You've got the hiv. <laughs> Jesus. This has gotten a little dark. Josh is gifting 10 subs? What in the earth? Oh, look, the game store online got one. Stranger Colin. Sputnik Lamplight. This is a good, this is a good distribution. Josh, you are the people's champion, you see. You know, Dwayne Johnson? You know, The Rock? I asked no, you a question. I don't know him personally. Well, maybe you can meet him one day. You'll know him. Maybe. Yeah, it'll be a good day for you. Thank you. 
Remember that time we played a null hide Ferox and our opponent was like, well, I can't beat that because it's a big boy. And I was like, I know. I'm going to keep this hand because we've got the two playables and it, any one green lets us play two more cards. It so. is a six proof. A six proof. It's got a it's it's six got a, proof. It's a six proof it is. That means it's th 3% alcohol. It's not very impressive, you see. Well, sometimes you don't. You just want to get a little wasted, not a lot. Yeah, 3% is not going to get anybody a little wasted, my friend. I said a little. I am English and loving the stream dedicated to me and my fellow cut. That's fantastic. The last thing I wanted to do was sort of alienate any, uh, any English viewers. That was literally my biggest fear doing this. But if there was a British streamer, like if Riley Knight or, or Rich Hagon did a stream where they did an American accent the entire time, I'd actually be quite, I would be quite intrigued, I would be quite interested in watching that. I think that would be fairly entertaining, just because I think it's interesting how other dialects and languages perceive, uh, how, how they're perceived even, like, you know, like if the way, I think you guys get what I'm saying, but it's hard to explain, you know? What in the actual holy hell I walk into Frank and Micah talking in horrid accents and Frank is making fun of Mike's mom? Come to think of it, this is normal. Carry on. <laughs> well, I'm glad you figured. I'm Don't glad. Don't forget the mates. I would never forget me mates. What's wrong with you? You got a problem? But you did. You did. You did. Billy gives <laughs> 10 subs. All right. They've gifted a total of 60 in this channel, which is a completely unreasonable amount and not at all normal for a, a, an average supporter. So you guys are amazing and I love you both. And uh, God, God, Queen, may the Queen, may the Queen bless you. I don't think that's how that goes. I don't think there's any saying that that's even remotely close to what I just said. So let's disregard that and we'll uh, call it a moment of uh, British weakness. And uh, we'll move on here. Seeing someone imitate a different accent can be a good way of showing how their pronunciations differ. I got you. Yeah, sit like that. I'm just going to listen to the old... Uh, you didn't even do an accent for that whole quote? Uh, I, I was reading it in a nature's... He said it, so I'm quoting him. Oh, it's weird. He's it not British. like your normal voice. Because he's not British, so I'm not going to speak in a British accent when I quote someone. It doesn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. Okay, listen, why don't you go back to Scotland, and then we'll talk about your shepherd's pie later, okay? Is that a Scottish dish or a British? No. Is it not? It might be both. <laughs> Can someone clue me in on I the old... Just Google it. I'm looking up shepherd's pie right now. I felt like it was more Scottish. But I could be wrong. And oh, you oh, well, it's Irish. It's, it's places of origins of the UK and the Republic of Ireland, so... Okay, so I I made the bigger faux pas of confusing Scottish and Irish, and that just feels bad. Well, I just don't think that's where you want to be at all. Our opponent's deck is not really seem to be doing anything right now, which is kind of tragic, I guess. I guess we'll just play the 4-3. <laughs> Billy, I don't even understand. What? They're just trading a hired poison with a rock charger? That's a good that's a good deal for me. I don't even uh What in the earth? We've played nothing but three one ones and a two two this match, and they, I don't and Michael. Yeah, we are winning. What's what's British for Michael? Can you guys clarify what Michael's British name would be? I'm not sure what it would be. You see, it's uh, crushing Canopy. Oh, it was not. I'm probably just gonna play the Forages here. I could Assassin's Trophy the Luminous Bonds, and then attack for six, but. <laughs> I don't really feel like that's the point. Oh, Michael? It's Mitch. It's probably Mitch. Mitchell, uh, I would imagine. Mick? Sir Michael? Yeah, you guys are probably right. I'm I, pretty sure Michael is an Irish name. Why did you say it like that? I'm, I'm pretty sure Michael is an Irish name. <laughs> What's that actually? <laughs> this is this is totally worth it. I'm so glad. I, I wish we didn't put this off for as long as we had. This is a wonderful experience. We put it off for like two days. Two days? He yeah. literally commissioned this like two and a half weeks ago. Well, you didn't tell me about it until like two days ago. Are you Canadian so? now? Uh... <laughs> you didn't tell me about it until like two days ago, yeah? <laughs> oh, they killed me burglar rat. Oh, that's unfortunate. This little rat's a hard he worker. He stomped on his little head. Okay, he doesn't have to get that dark, chief. Well, here's what happened. 
The dog in the background's like messing up me bed. The dog? How dare you? That's true. I should have called him the dog. His name is Hunter. Oh boy, went back to. (laughs) Oh yeah, you betcha. Oh yeah, you betcha. My name is Michael. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to Assassin's Trophy this guy. I don't really feel like having you block me 4-4. I guess we could have actually traded. And then I could have played Fine Broker to the board. And then gotten it back again next turn. But really, I don't. But unfortunately, he didn't. What part of Scotland are you from, mate? Wales. So you're from Wales, Scotland, you'd say? Yeah. Huh, that's something, isn't it? Well, that's the thing, I guess. Can any of you, uh, do you guys have, can you guys Google a map and show us where Wales, Scotland is? Um, I'm very curious to see where Mike's from. That's, uh, that's one of my favorite parts of the, of the Scottish, uh, Scottish countryside, I'd say. I, uh, if you guys can show us a map of that, I'd really appreciate it. I, I would love to see. I feel like it's, uh... It's probably a be- it's probably beautiful. I'd love to see the Scottish countryside here. Yeah. Oh wow, double fine brokers, eh? It's unfortunate all my good things are not in the graveyard and they're on the board. So that is tragic. I would like some posh British X. Not to be confused with the small town of Scotland, Wales. That's also yeah. Don't uh, don't confuse the two. You see, he was born on the top of Scottish of a Scottish whale. Is that more accurate? <laughs> Think about it. You don't want to, you don't want to mess this one up, mate. Well, I guess we're just getting back like a rat. They have one card in hand. We're probably just going to rat it up. Are you ready to rat it up, Michael? Looks like we're going to ratify the hand, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Because, because rat, it's a burglar rat, and I said ratify, which has the word rat in it. So it's kind of a little, it's kind of a little joke. We're having a bit of fun here. Rat's off to your mom. Okay, well, need something. Rat's off. To your mum. I had a weird craving for chilies just now, and that's not normal. It is it's not, it's not a normal thing. I don't want chilies, but maybe I kind of do want some chips and salsa. Let's see what your last card is, mate. It was a planes. That's unfortunate. Chilies. That's right, chilies. Nailed it. He nailed it. That is uh, that is the name of the restaurant, my friend. Oi, mate. Don't bring up me rat debt. <laughs> that was probably your best British accent yet. I'll just say oi a lot. I'll just say oi a lot. Well, that's the thing, I guess. This is a turn where we're going to play uh, Golgari Locket into Golgari Fine Broker. Get back to the Fine Broker. I'm going to assume that my opponent will concede on the spot, but it's possible that they don't. Because this is a pretty uh, a pretty powerful series of recursion that you might have. So I'm just going to play this and I don't think they're going to have any way to make me discard. And we don't have any uh, any jump start cards in a deck. But I could see the concession on the wall. they got to keep dealing with this guy. And then his friend comes back and gives him a little boost. And uh, we won the match there, you see. So ah, it would be Chris. Scottish Santa. whales are actually the Loch Ness Monster. If there's, Were you born on top of the Loch Ness Monster, would you say? So you're born on top of your mother, is what you're saying. Got wow. him. I'm about to bust. I don't know how that was fitting, but it was just funny. It, so it I really said it. wasn't. It wasn't funny or wasn't fitting? No, it wasn't fitting. It doesn't matter. Your mother's not fitting either in any of her clothing because she's fat, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> you think she don't know how to buy bigger clothes? She don't. That don't make no sense. She just walk around naked all day, Michael, because the clothes don't fit anymore because she's fat. Upton Snodsbury. It's in Worcestershire. It's in, it's in Worcestershire near North Piddle. That's right. North Piddle. That's what you took on your mum the other night. <laughs> <laughs> How many of your mom jokes are you going to do? I, like I think you're using your mom jokes as a crush. A crutch? A crush? <laughs> you think I got a crush on your mom jokes? After I said that one, I was like, eh, well, I feel like I've gone too far with the mom jokes here. <laughs> Let me find you a burn ward, Mike. I don't think he'd even need it. Thank you. Oh, your Strokhans is out of date. Well, that's good. 
Josh gifted a sub to Rogue Bro. I don't think anybody in my channel has actually subbed of their own volition anymore. I think it's literally supported by Vili and uh, Josh and, and Tana. So I think you guys are single-handedly keeping my stream alive. I think if, if you guys ever stopped supporting me, I'd probably just die. I feel like uh, an indentured servant to you, you blokes. I'll keep the hand, though. You got a little cat here. Oh, you die, all right. When I eat you again. Are you threatening violence on me person? Yeah. That's unfortunate. That's not a real... I'm, I'm not saying that because I, I can't say that. But I do believe... That's a real thing. I do believe it's there is gonna that... It's going to be hard to say that in a British accent. It's going to be hard to say that with any accent, mate. Like, why would you think that's limited to a British accent? Can you say this with your English voice? Yeah, that's what Lonfer I thought. Lonfer Pliggle. Oh, boy, do I wish I had. Porgy Ribble Drop. Blood. You heard a Porgy Wibble Nif Drop in there. Still a go-go gotch. Still a go-go gotch. I think I nailed it. I don't think you did. I, I, I was going to say, I wish we had a Nullhide Ferox in hand when they made us discard at the Burglar Rat. Boy, can you imagine they just go turn to Burglar Rat and we put a Nullhide Ferox into, free, into, into play for free? I said no, but then I said okay, yes. What if I ask nicely not to ghost me? I'll be like, don't ghost me, bro. Oh, I drew seven strands. That's a good draw. Now we can kill the rat by sacrificing our cat. I think it's nice flavor-wise. That uh, I got a rat and I sacked it to a cat. I couldn't even finish my sentence because Mike wanted to sing his little song. I uh, never would. Boy. I want my story of losing to be legit. <laughs> That's funny. This guy's got a good sense of humor here. In before we get crushed. I want my story of losing to be legitimate. That is, uh, I appreciate that kind of, uh, that kind of humility is nice in the face of my own. I'm sure he'll just crush me, but that's okay. That's what you gotta do. Remember that time I had that hammer and I slammed myself in the face with it? I'll never forget. Yeah, I took it out of the room just so I wouldn't be compelled to play with it, you see. Oh, I'm gonna play Did you this. burn it? Uh, no, I burned your mum last night when I was using all the fat jokes on it, you see. I bet she didn't like that. Nah, she loved it. We had a good time. Me and your mum. If you know what I mean, Michael, you know what I'm saying? I don't. It's about your mum. Okay. Click the link. I, s I know this link. Oh my god, they're just killing all me things, huh? Just up the road from Slan by the Prussian Wing, you should go get a Quindrobo, Slan to Celio, go, go, go. The temper you got. That's, oh yeah, I saw this. I've seen this weatherman before. Yeah, this, this video went viral. Yeah, it's got 8 million views. With this guy's pronunciation of the town, which is unbelievable, because why would you ever name your town this? It's got, it feels like a troll. It, oh, it's not a joke. No, it's a real town, Michael. Well then. Yeah, you thought it was real? Or you thought it was a fake? Yeah. I mean, I guess if I saw that name too, I would also think it was fake. It just seems... It doesn't seem like a real name, that's all. You know, I think if you gave me a year, I probably still couldn't say that. Did you just turn into Forrest Gump? <laughs> The mom turned into Forrest Gump when I was laying down the hammer on her. <laughs> Go on. So I just wanna I just wanna be clear here. You said right. Me mom turned into Forrest Gump when you were laying down the hammer on her. Oh, your mom. Me mom. Me mom turned into Forrest Gump. When you were laying the hammer down on her. Is that correct? Right, it's rain. Huh. Well, that's something, isn't it? Oh, do you want isn't to... it? Oh, they got the rat and the two strands back, I see. All right, well. Isn't it? Well, that's something. Did he just admit to hitting your mother with a hammer, which in turn caused her to have some sort of brain damage? It sure sounds like that. I imagine I can call the authorities on him, and uh, I could get him put away for a long time, I imagine. Nah. 
She already had brain damage. Oh, she already had the brain. You see, the brain damage yeah. was... It was already in, it was already there. I you fixed see. it. Oh, you fixed her brain damage. Yeah, oh. when you have a brain damage, you just got to get hit in the head with a hammer really hard until it fixes it. Or you die, one of the two. Boy, I can't really even argue with that, you see. It's just, uh, it's just a common fact of hammer damage, I guess. Uh, okay, I'm going to not use the ability because there's nothing to really use the ability on. So we're just going to pass here and hope they don't play a Demir spy bug, in which case we would have killed it with the Grawl Harpooner. But... No, they're going to tap two guild summons, draw two guns, but then take seven damage. You got a ten. It's not a... You mean Dane Bramage? Well, I personally don't mean Dane Bramage. Michael might. Life is a box of uh, nails. Sometimes you got to hammer it home. That's a, that's a solid metaphor there. Would you say the lunatic was in her head or on the grass? Can you ask? Can you answer this question? I was really hoping for not a land there. For nine lands. Ten lands is literally where I draw the line, I think. But, uh, you know. Sometimes you draw too many lands, and sometimes the lands draw you, as they say. It's an old British saying. You guys are probably not familiar with it. We keep it close to home here. It doesn't really travel abroad too much. I'm not so sure. You're not so sure about what? Everything. This is amazing. The conversations we have are just they're so compelling. Oh, that's a good, that's a good draw, you see. So now we can do a thing. We can actually go find Broker here. Get back to the other fine broker. Sack this fine broker, which is worse than the crawl harpuna, admittedly. But it doesn't matter because we can get it back, and we do get to deal the seven damage this turn. So, I think it's it's better get to get rid of the good creature, the better creature, and still be able to attack for seven to keep the pressure on. And uh, we also gain four, so we're back up to twenty three, which is a solid life total. Are we? Is this round two already? Oh my god, we're just crushing. But nobody likes you when you're twenty three. I can't pinpoint. Nobody likes you when you're 23. I can't pinpoint your accent. It's hard. I'm trying to figure it out where you. Where you, you never will. <laughs> you never will. What? It's. I swear to God, it's Scottish. <laughs> you never will, matey. You sound like Willie from The Simpsons. So does your mom. My me mom sounds like Willie from The Simpsons. Yeah. Well, then that's something. I'll take. I'll bring in the p the pilfering imp just in case they have a counter spell. We also had a devious cover up. Oh, I just like to get this guy down early and start stealing your spells. You see, nobody likes it when you're 23, Michael. And then you still act like you're on freshman year. What the hell's caller ID? And then I said, Michael, you need to act your age. And then he's all, "What's me age again?" And I'm like, "Well, you know, it's it's not really my place to say what your age is." Willie from The Simpsons is an acceptable accent, so say I. Well, that's fine, but it's not British. And you did say British, Juposhi. You said, specifically, ye old, they do a draft with the finest English accents, and I'm not sure... I'm not sure that's, that's, uh, that's similar. Why do you think your mom jokes are so easy in a British accent? Well, you just, that, everything you just said was in an American accent, so I don't, I couldn't tell you. And also, uh, why is your mom so easy in a in a See? British accent? That's what I mean. I think it's because you get to say mum, but you're not even saying mum, so I don't actually know what your excuse is, you see. I think it's actually probably better to just take a card from their hand here. Because if they untap and play deadweight on this guy, we don't get to do it. Which is sad, but I'm just going to take the card. we got nothing to do here, so let's take a gander at ye old hander. Seven strands, glaive, deadly visit, lights, and a burglar rat. So they're going to play a rat and make us discard, which is fine. Four mana is good for us. I'm going to take the deadly visit, I believe. Yeah, that's fine. Our hand's pretty good, though. I ain't got no complaints about the hand. We're going to be discarding the forest and playing the pitiless gorgon. God save your mum. <laughs> oh, God. Let's see what this clip is. I did. Oh, I did. Oh, well, God save the queen. God save your mum. <laughs> Is she in danger, would you say? Every night. Hmm. <laughs> she's in danger every night? That's because she's a prostitute. Okay. <laughs> did I did. Oh, well. That's a good clip. That's because she's a prostitute. Wow, it's, 
I think the funny, I think the humor there comes from the fact that you just say she's a prostitute, not she's a whore, she's a slut, she's a woman of the. There's a, there's a bunch of different terms you could have, derogatory terms you could have used for a prostitute, and the fact that you just say it so bluntly that she's a prostitute, rather than uh, some sort of derogatory, uh, insulting term, it's eh, it's quite funny. That's because she's a prostitute. I know, Michael. No, no, I know, I no. Was, I was going to say. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything. It's oh, you because got a mountain here too. Huh? Sick of the swamp. Out. You know, wouldn't want to shame her. Just calling her by her profession. Her profession. Mm-hmm. Well, she is a professional, you see. Also, real British people, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. England and Scotland are on the island of Britain, which is part of the UK. Along, with- I guess, I guess that's true. If we're doing so, if we're doing it, well, here, yeah, hmm, so here's. Hmm. Yeah, but it's so. So it's the difference if they're doing a British accent or an English accent, right? So suppose she specified an English accent, which I would assume is from England. Uh, if he said a British accent, then it could be anywhere in Britain. So it's kind of like... Uh, I feel like it's kind of... It just depends on what you say, you see. Mm, what you say... That's from... Uh, yeah, you know what it's from. Why don't you shut your mouth? Why don't you shut your mouth when I'm talking to you, Michael? I haven't said anything, have yeah, I? You will one day, though, you know what I'm saying? No. Oh, I see. They didn't play anything, but they have three cards in hand. They're going to pay the costs. Oh, whisper, whisper. Sneaky boy. It's your mom, you see. She's a sneaky boy. Okay, Michael? They're going to block here and then probably take two damage, but then we get to get it back with the fine broker, so it's like nothing even happened. It's like we're living a dream here with the fine brokers. It's probably one of the strongest cards I've seen in the movie. It's like a grave digger. Everybody knows a grave digger is one of the strongest cards you can have in in like a core set draft or any kind of any even non core set drafts. If grave diggers in the set, you get a two two out of it, and you get any creature back from your graveyard. It's just a very strong card. And then you find fine broker, which is not it's a it's a three four grave digger instead of a two two grave digger, and uh, you get to uh, get any permanent back, not just the. Not just a creature. So if you have a planeswalker, if you need to get an artifact back, all these things are very possible. They're gonna seven strands though, and now we know they have these two cards and a whisper, whisper, whispering snitch. Isn't wasn't your mother a whispering snitch once? I whispered to your mother snitch last night. Holy, <laughs> 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 my God! Got you to broke your accent there. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's once you start whispering to me, mother's me mum's snitch. It's it's very. Holy God, man. What's your problem? <laughs> it's not okay. Whatever you're saying here is not okay, mate. Some of Frank's inflections sound New Zealandish. Your mum sounds New Zealandish. What do you think about that? Shimmy wreck him? I did. He's basically dead. Somebody better call the hospital. Eh, I don't want to attack here because then they can double block. We get to kill a spinal centipede and make it 2-4. It's not good. My foray into Innistrad was extremely unenjoyable. That's unfortunate. That's not the land we wanted here. I guess we're just going to pass here. I don't really see a point. I don't, I'm not sure why they haven't played the Glaive here, though. Like, it's just a free spell to play. If you're not going to use your mana for anything, why aren't you playing the Glaive? Well, now they have Glaive and they can equip it if they want, but they also have Dazzling Lights. Maybe they hit themselves in the head with a hammer. I thought that was your mum's story. She hit herself in the head with a hammer. I think that's your story. Hmm. Is that my story? It is hard to do a sustained accent. It kind of, uh... It kind of goes in and out, like I was. Uh, what, what happened with me and your mum last night? <laughs> <laughs> it's too much. We're done. It's too much with the mums. You know, it's just you want to. It's 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 borderline inappropriate. I think it's the word mum. I just like saying mum because it's funny. It's a good it's a good sounding word in the in this accent. It's true. You're right. And then Mike is doing six different types of accents, so. Oh, the awful takedown! How that was that was quite awful. This makes sense why you didn't play the uh, the glaive More like yet. Thoughtful, got him. 
I feel like you're more like thoughtful. Maybe. Yeah, we have a 4-3 and they have a dazzling light, so I think we'll be alright. If you want to say mum, you can talk about flowers. I don't even understand what that means. Mum with bum. Is that a helpful tip? Your bum? I think that might be worse. I'm going to be honest with you. That feels worse. Well, this is interesting. Oh, it's not interesting. They're just going to block it and pass. That's fine. I'm not really going to play the uh, extra land because if they have another rat or something, then we lose the bounty of might. They put a burglar rat on the, bo on the in the graveyard, which is kind of funny. Because that was literally what we were just talking about. Guild Summit. Alright, you get to draw a card here. That's not... A single card. One card will be drawn today. That was not a British accent. That was a British guy doing a... I don't know. I don't actually know. There's so many accents in the world that it's hard to keep track of them, you know? Oh boy, yeah, here we go. This is what's... This is the old fine broker chain now. Where we get to play a fine broker, get a fine broker back, and then... Uh, it slowly dwindles out of control at that point. I guess I'm hoping to don't have a disdainful stroke, but nah, it'd be quite a bit much because they have one card in hand, so. And get back to Fine Broker. It's pretty good. It's, this is probably one of the. It's In my experience, recurring Fine Broker after Fine Broker has been one of the more powerful uh, interactions you can have in this format. Is he trying to do an accident or is he having a stroke? Sounds like, sounds like your, your, your comment there had a little accident, didn't it? He fixed it. Ah, oh, well, that's, that's good then. That's good. They block here, you take four, that's fine. Are we at a point where we can just nine them in the face yet? Probably not. Yep, that's a fine. Now, we're tempted to just play this fine broker, but they could have any counter spell up. I don't really feel like dealing with all that. I'm just gonna pass here. We don't really have any pressure. There's nothing we really need to do. If they want to, if they want to play anything and put anything on the board, and still keep up like a devious cover up, they got it. It has to cost less than three, so I think we can deal with that. Jokes on you, autocorrects a bitch when you are paying attention as well. Get in there with everybody again. These two creatures are going the distance. We're actually at a point where we can play this and they don't actually have devious cover-up mana up anymore. I'm tempted to just kill them. There's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, we'd do it. 2, 3. There's 4, 5, 6, 8, 10. Yeah, this is fine. So let's see if you have the disdainful stroke. It's the only card you could really have. I guess you'd have a counter spell. Are you dead, mate? I'll deal you. I'll deal you thirteen. Good games. All right. Looks like we're going to old round three with uh with a two L, my friend. So it's not too bad. Oh, well, that's that. I feel like that's fashionably late to the party. He's still attacking, you know. He's still gonna get in there. He's having a good time. Should have done it. Yeah, I agree with you. This would have been a solid, uh, a solid choice for you, mate. All right, so we didn't get to play the poisoner. We died with a Golgari fine broker in hand, and we haven't lost a game with this. What? What are you looking at? You said we died with a Golgari meant, fine broker in hand. Yeah, we it was in our hand, right? But we didn't die. Oh, we 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 won the game with it in our hand. Is what I meant. I don't know. Why I said died either. That was a little that was a little boof on my part. If you if you know what I'm saying. Is that a drinking game? Oh, uh, no, you're thinking of Devil's Triangle. Devil's Three-Way. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's a, quarters, it's a quarters game. You know quarters? Do you like to drink, Senator? What, what, do, you, like what drink? do you like to drink? Senator, what do you like to drink? Senator, can you tell me what you like to drink? Frank was too busy chonging a biff. Well, I don't like to talk about me chonging a biff. I've seen a foil. What is going on here? Does anyone know how it has to Doom Whisperer Pack 2? Uh, no. I don't think anyone can really speak to that, per se. I keep getting... Hey, what are you guys' favorite football teams? 
I like Manchester United. What about you, mate? Can you, could you name any more? Uh, Arsenal. Uh, I think those might be the only two I can think of off the top of my head. Why do I have to name more than one when you haven't named one yet? I don't understand why I would have to do I that. I would name the Seattle Sanders. That's not football, mate. <laughs> yeah, it is. I, I don't think so, mate. You talking about the game with the with the oblong, the oblong brown bowl? Hello. What? Are you there? No. Okay. Well, let me know when you get back so we can no have a conversation. Home. What? Hey, this draft is over. We don't have to do this accent anymore. How's the draft over? We're in the. We haven't even. We're not done. Wait. What? We have a third round. When two rounds have been played. Oh, I thought we already did that. You thought we played three rounds? Yeah. Who did you think our rounds were against? My mom. <laughs> oh, dear God. We don't have to do the accents anymore because we played all three rounds of our two-round draft. Well, you see, Michael, that's not how math works. Or, or reality, you see. Because when, when you only play two rounds, uh, that's not the same as having played three rounds, you see. Do what? <laughs> <laughs> I guess he's got a point there. I can't really argue with a do what. That's a solid do what right there. How you doing over there? You're rubbing your little cottons. Poorly. You're doing poorly. What's mm -hmm. what's the reasoning for that? Would you say? You still there? Nobody's home. That's what that's what I'm gathering, mate. Well, that's definitely becoming apparent to me. I don't really want to uh don't really want to argue with that one, mate. Alright, we got two guild gates here. They're not very exciting turns one and two for our opponent, but we got the we got the child of night. Have you ever heard that Guns N' Roses song Child of Night? No. Did you say the Sounders? Yeah. Oh, I thought you said the Seahawks. Yeah, the Sounders are a proper rug, proper proper football team. That was my bad. Yeah. I was thinking of the wrong the wrong. Uh... Well, at least you're a big enough man to admit it. Well, that's my mistake. I was thinking of the wrong with the wrong team, the wrong Seattle team that started with an S. You see. I will never not play Child of Night without going, oh, 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 sweet Child of Night. Same. I agree with you. This is actually a pretty solid card against us, you see. We can't really deal with these guys effectively, so we're kind of, uh... Kind of, kind of up shit creek, as the kids say. You ever been up shit creek before, Michael? <laughs> What's the matter? You, you doing all right? <laughs> what they miss? What did I miss, Michael? Uh, nothing. I don't know what you're doing right now. Is there something funny happening? It just can't be said on stream. What can't be said? <laughs> oh, oh, you're thinking of something? Is something improper, huh? All right, <laughs> well, that's something, I guess. Yeah, that's uh. Well, you. I guess I got him with that one, but I didn't really actually do anything with that one, which is kind of kind of comical. Well, I'm probably gonna get the harpooner back with the with the find broker. Comma, 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 chameleon. I come and go. Having a dead weight for this gentleman would be kind of nice. I wanna know. Can you show me? You know that song? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Cause you'll you'll be in my heart. That's a Phil Collins song. He was British, you know. He was from Wales, Scotland as well. <laughs> that's where all the rock stars come from. Wales, Scotland, Michael. 
If only there was a way to Frank can actually say this one goes to eleven. No, it goes to eleven. Can't you? Couldn't you just make ten louder so that you know ten is then the loudest and nine they're all a little bit louder? No, it goes to eleven. You see. Every creature that blocks every creature will die. That's nice to know. Cause you will be in Max heart. Pretty sure you just have that on the clipboard now and you're just gonna say it every single time. Hey, he's got it on his clipboard, he does. Shut up, Michael. I was on your mom's clipboard last night. She was writing about me. She was she was writing about you? Yeah. What was she writing about you? Don't know yet. You don't know what she was writing about you? Nar. Nar? You said na? Nar? Yeah. I really don't know what she's saying right now. It's kind of awkward. You're basically like a giant... A giant weirdo, you know? I'm going to get rid of this guy because he's just got a very, very strong, powerful ability on the board. I'm not really feeling like it. Oh, are you a Liverpool fan? Are you, are you toss as fancy man? You, you, I'm a, I, I already said Manchester United was my women boys. However, that's, that being said, Michael likes the Seattle Sounders, which is weird because I, I, I don't know why you'd like a, an American football team. I never said I liked them. I just named them. Well, he said, what are your favorite teams? That was the whole point. We weren't just naming teams. Yeah, but that wasn't the discussion we had. You and I? Yeah. What? So I you just told me to name one, so I named one. No, I didn't. I asked you what your team was. Do you feel like you were like this since since birth, or do you think it took over slowly? It was a gradual progression for for your mental handicap to take place. Do you think well, probably was... little A, probably little B. Okay, well so it was a birth defect, but then it, it took over it, it, it grew grew more slowly over the years, you'd say. Sure. Okay, well that's a good talk. I'm glad we had this conversation together. I'm not. <laughs> uh, you'll forget about it soon, so it's fine. What? I I believe we'd established your short term memories about four four minutes. What you talking about? Exactly. Yeah, so so we did good. We're back to square one right now. That's nice. All right, I'm not really super. I'm not really super threatened by the board right now. As long as we can draw like a hatchery spider or something, I'm feeling pretty all right. Actually, I guess we're gonna back it up and just gonna attack with this. I don't want that. I don't want them to block with the, with the district guy on the gorgon though. I think my gorgon's a, a superior creature. The only thing worse than them boys are the Spurs. You need to name. You need to. You need to name Rangers FC. That's good. You know who the Rangers are? The football. The Rangers football club. I don't. Yeah, that's because you're a dummy, Michael. <laughs> you you big dummy. That's because your mum's a dummy as well. Would you say it's a dummy cycle? I would say your mum lives in a dummy cycle. Yes. No, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then he followed it up with a nip, nip, nip. And so I don't know really what that means per se, but uh, it it feels like he was just trying to communicate something to us, and uh, we didn't really know what it was per se so I bet they attack with this guy and then they put the null hide ferox right in the front that's a 6-6 six, six null hide ferox here we go you ready yep get in there with this guy if they have a pax favor here it's a it's a pretty sizable blowout I'm just going to assume they don't though Unless they're waiting. Yeah, we're just going to trade Null Hide for this guy. And then we're going to draw a removal spell. Off of this cutie. Cutie cat. Golgari Fine Broker. Yeah, Crawl Forge is a, good, is a good gentleman. I'll play that guy straight up. Going to gain 27 life. We're at 33. Six cards in the graveyard, which is nice because if we hit a Hatchery Spider, Hatchery Spider is at six. So that's pretty good. I also feel like our board is, uh, is pretty nice. We can just get rid of this forest now. We would have kept the other land in hand had we cared about both of them, but since they're both both lands, they don't really care about going to one. Oh, he's all right. Undercity, that's fine. That's a that's what's known as a twofer. 
Okay, I'm just gonna play this because there's no reason to have lands in hand. You know what I'm saying? Michael, you, do you, you know what I mean? You, you could have sandbagged it though. But then if they play like a burglar rat, which they've already exhibited having, then we just don't get to. We just lose a land. What you need that many lands for? Uh, for for cards in my deck. For cards in me deck. Uh, I can't even attack into this stupid four four. It's pretty frustrating. Hatchery spider into fine broker into ferox would be. Pretty, pretty remarkable. I, You're I think trying that... to tell me you need more than ten mana. I don't know. I don't know what you're saying right now. I'm pretty sure you're actually kind of drunk right now, and it's it's going to be an oak right now. It's a four mana thing. I'm going to say a rhizome lurcher. Yep, yeah, that was that's pretty on point. I wish it had flying so I could kill it with my canopy, but we're just going to have to draw. Hatchery Spider right now. It was uh, Forest instead. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There have been 5 lands in our 16 card. So about 33% of our deck is lands now. That's not great. Yeah, I'm just going to keep it now because we don't really need... I, now we do have some uh, Burglar Rat protection. 3, 4, 6, 7. <sighs> lurchy, 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 lurchy. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch this. I'm watching this clip. Oh my god, it's a foiled. It's a foiled doom whisper. Yikes! Oh boy, I don't. What does that go for? Thirty-four tickets. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, I'm surprised it's it's so so much little than so much less than the year. Like it's only four tickets more than it's only four tickets more than the Nullhide Ferox. I'm probably just gonna block here. I don't think it's worth taking eight. And filling the graveyard just gives us a better chance when we do hit the hatchery spider to be able to. Oh, that's actually nice. We can crack that boy right now. Let's use the mana that's in the pool, shall we? Oh, we get a fine broker back. All right, and we still have one more fine broker in the deck. It's it's not too shabby. Actually, maybe we just play the hired poisoner here. I think I like the hired poisoner here instead. It just blocks this guy forever. And if we if they end up killing this, we can get it back with this guy. Actually, those very good. Those are two very very solid draws. I'll block. Oh, I didn't think so. Okay, well that's too bad. Hatchery spider one time. Burglar rat. Let's get that out of your hand, whatever it is. Whatever the one whatever the whatever the three cards are. I bet you just sandbagging a bunch of lands here, yeah, alright. What do we get back with this guy? Could wait. I'd rather just advance me advance the me, me advance me board. See, and then I get this. I get this British accent done because Mike is like, "Hey, I'm gonna do a not a, oh, a Scottish." Blame accent. me, of course. Yeah, you deserve it you for see. your shortcomings. That's not even a, for your shortcomings. That's not even a British. It's not even close to a British accent. I don't even know who you're doing anymore. It's like you're just taking any sort of non more normal American voice and you're just gonna use that and you're gonna be like, "I hope it's good enough. Uh, it's not great, but that's what I got." And uh, I don't really understand it. You never will. <laughs> Still Scottish. Nah. Oh, that's a good. I didn't. Uh, didn't tell. You. Yeah, I, I didn't understand that. I didn't. You know what? I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm done talking. We're done. Finally, some peace and quiet. Some peace and quiet. I think it's almost funner to just repeat the things Mike says in his accent than it is to do my own accent. So. You know, is that we got that going for us. This is quite the stalemate here. Is there any card that turns a creature into an enchantment? Because that's what we're kind of looking for here, I think. All right, well. What is this, 10, 11, 12, 13 lands? There are four lands in our 11 cards, so we're still sitting about 33% here. It's not ideal, but... Uh... They're at 21, and uh, I'm worried this game comes down to decking because I don't know how much more removal we have for a card like this. I also don't think we have any flyers as well, so. 
I wonder if we can actually get past this guy. Hatcheries. Oh, I guess we figured out how we're going to do that, I suppose. It'll do. At, at it'll do. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can actually play both of these. That's nice. I guess Hired Poisoner just gets blocked by the Generous Stray. That's a pretty easy block here. Yep, alright. Just those two, huh? I think this is actually fine. I'm okay with this. They take three. We get to Fine Broker back to Find Broker. And block with the Rat and then do it again next turn. Yeah, that's actually okay. I'm not going to waste the Bounty of Mine until I can get rid of the Lurcher. And I'm just going to pass like this. We could also give plus 8, plus, plus 9, plus 9 to this guy to block the Lurches, so it's not really... What happened to Assassin's Trophy? Oh, it's still in the deck. I totally forgot about that guy. It's busy assassinating somebody else. It's busy assassinating someone else? Is that what you think is happening here, Michael? Oi. Oi? Oh, I don't even understand. I guess we just let this happen. It's totally fine. If we can sneak in a, a Rhizome Lurcher here, I'm okay with that. Like, this actually doesn't do anything for us because... Uh, we're just going to block here and try to get rid of this guy. I think trading a Bounty of Might for this is fine. If they have a way to kill our rat, it's, it's whatever. I'll just deal with the 8-8 and then we can get the Fine Broker back. We just traded Bounty for an 8-8, which is... A perfectly reasonable play. And we can just keep cycling through uh, fine brokers here. Okay, I've just joined and I have no idea what's going on. You know what's going on. What happens when this draft is over and Mike can remember his own voice and he just talks in an amalgamation of bad accents? Well, that's just how he lives now. That's his life after this, I guess. Man, if you're wasting your deadly visit on things like a Dowser of Lights, I'm just very okay with it. I'm at 26 life and you you have no profitable attacks here. I'll just double block here and get my gold, get, get my fine broker back. Oh my god, Mike, I love Mike. Oh, that's a lie, no one loves you. Not even your mum. How dare you? Well, shouldn't have done that, they said. Really? Yeah. Oh, because now they've milled themselves lower than us, I think. And this game might come down to milling, you see. Let's play a hatchery spider for like a thousand. Let's play another fine broker here. And what are we getting back with this, do you think? I would say... Probably Ferox. Yeah, let's get back to Ferox. That's a nice, sizable body. Ah, I think we just we just came we just turned the corner, as Marshall Sutcliffe would say. So they go to seven cards. We we actually have oh that's that's obnoxious. Oh, we have Crushing Canopy here. Yeah, that's pretty good. We're giving them some decent attacks here, I think. Oh, decent blocks, but I mean, we have a Fine Broker. And we have a Crushing Canopy, so we can get rid of this guy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's the loop that never ends. 
This is the loop that never ends. It just goes on and on, my friends. By casting Hatchery Spider, we did go down to one fewer cards than they do. So we're going to draw and go down to five. And we would draw and die the turn before they did. So we have to kind of win the next six turns. It's not super easy to do. Oh, well, actually, if they hit off this, then we're back, back to where we were. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. So we have a Divine Visitation. That's fast. Man, it's just, just a day of foiled mythics here. They have a Divine Visitation. We have Nullhide Ferrex. Someone in chat got Doom Whisper. So. That's the card that makes angels, yeah? Uh, yeah. Yeah they, made, yeah, they made two of them right now. We got a Hatchery Spider. I think it's fine. They have five cards in the deck. How many lands is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So they have one land in the next five cards. Yeah, no cards in hand, unfortunately. We could also play a Crawl Harpooner and just kill one of them right now. I don't know if that's great, though. It's probably just going to play uh, Wild Ceratok here. Yeah, we're just going to keep the... Like, they can't really get through our... They can't really get through our Hatchery Spider, and if they try to kill it, we can actually just get... Uh... Well, I guess I... Made a terrible mistake. That is unfortunate. Yeah, they got vigilance too, huh? All right, well, that's a little harder to deal with, isn't it? It really is, you see. Well, five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There are three lands in our last four cards, so I think one of our cards is an assassin's trophy. It's not terrible. We might just have to get a Crawl Harpooner here and kill this guy. And then just hope for an Assassin's Trophy before... 5, 10, 11, 12, 13. Is that right? 14 lands? Yeah, so there's still 3 lands in our deck. Um, I mean, they could just have nothing after that, though, so... Let's get the Crawl Harpooner back. Actually, how much life does Forges get us? Probably not nearly enough, right? Yeah, it's this guy's fine. So this guy goes to 13. It would have been 10 life. That would have been two and a half attacks. So we would have went to 28. And had a 4 4 that could profitably attack. They have three cards left in their deck. So they have to win three turns. We go to 14, they go to two cards. We go to 10, they go to one card. Well, I gotta make sure that guy doesn't die, that's for sure. Assassin's Trophy one time. It was not the Assassin's Trophy. I'm just gonna pass here, because if this guy dies, the clock becomes a lot scarier. All I can think of now is the Australian episode of The Simpsons. <laughs> Yep, going to nine here. <laughs> Two hunted witnesses, huh? All right. Two cards left in our deck. One of them is an assassin's trophy, so... Here comes hope we don't die. This is going to be sad that these are the two last cards because now you get to... Uh... Yikes. Four, five, six, we go to three, so we're dead to this. But we can Assassin's Trophy that if the next card is an Assassin's Trophy. And then we'd survive. So actually, this we just have to hope this is 50-50 on Assassin's Trophy. Coin flip. <laughs> we did it. All right, Ooh. so they're going to draw the last card. Probably play Burglar. Oh, that's a good point. Let's get rid of that. That's a smart play. I almost got uh, too distracted by... It was a land. They draw the last card. We have to kill the angel. <sighs> oh my god. This game is pretty insane.
Now they have nothing. They have no cards left in the library and one card left in the hand. And uh, I'm pretty sure we just win this game. We draw our last card. It's going to be land, as we know. We are all on board for the land train. And that's the end. It was a land. And what a game it was, though. It was a good game, mate. I kind of want Never Happened, actually. This is a weird situation where I just want to board and the Never Happened so we can take things like the Divine Visitations or the Rhizome Lurchers or you know, whatever kind of shenanigans they may have for us. Um, I also think Hired Poisoner is not at its best because they got a bunch of 1-1s one and 1-2s one that we can get rid of here. So I'll bring in the Never Happened and I'll also cut uh, something else for, another pilf for the Pilfering Imp because if we can get the cards out of the hand, like Divine Visitation is a card I do not want to deal with even though we have Generous, we have Crushing Canopy and Assassin's Trophy to deal with it. Eh, I'll just actually submit it 41. I think we have a, with the locket we have enough mana sources and uh, we have a lot of value. It's also the secret tick. Why do you keep doing the up inflection? Explain it to me, Michael. I can't help it. Oh, you can. You just have to consciously do it. It's totally. A, it's a totally controlled action. That I can't do both. What, are you from the country now? <laughs> <laughs> the country of jolly old England. You did the upward inflection. I don't understand because it's like I can't help it. Don't make excuses that you can't help yourself. You can't. It's just a matter of self-control. You just have to be able to control your actions. Look, mate. I'm listening. I can't. You can. I can't. I can't. I can't. You, saying you can't is just you being lazy. It's not even a matter of... It's, it's not being being lazy. I physically cannot do it. You can't not upwardly inflect? That's in yes. completely inaccurate. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a conscious decision you're making to, to talk about. It might be subconscious, but you can still control that. That's not uh, uncontrollable by any Easier means. Easier said than done. RPG Badger, I think I got your email. Was it last night? Or was it... Oh, no, that was literally right now. All right, then. Oh, look at this little cutie cat. Cutie cat sleeps in the dead of night. Take these cutie cats and learn to fly. All your life. Michael, shut up. Are you saying anything? Exactly, it's perfect. Got him. Shut uh, up, I'm a chili hat. <laughs> I mean, you you yourself are not a chili hat. You just happen I to am. have a chili hat. Okay, so they don't have Divine Visitation, otherwise they would have cast it. Instead of playing Hunted Witness. More like Hunted Shitness, am I right? Because <laughs> it's it's not good, that's why I said it. It's... Neither are you. Okay, you're a real piece of garbage. Bottom. In all fairness, he did got me. I think our opponent is actually missing black mana, which is it's pretty relevant to the strategy. I don't want to attack with you, because then they block and get a 1-1. One, one. The end of that hat is insane. Are you talking about his little tip? Are you talking about just the tip there? Subconscious habits can be changed, just require effort. That's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's making it seem like it's impossible and it's ingrained into his life forever and ever. It's just a matter of, like, you literally just have to take, make, put the effort in to do it, which I don't think you're actually used to. Because you're lazy, Mitch. Got him. I ain't never gonna use this again. It's not just this, though. It doesn't. It's not like this is the only thing in your life that this would ever help. Rise of Archer, Deadweight, Deadweight, Rat, Indrik. I'm going to take your Indrik, because that's the only thing I really care about here. That card is straight broken, and your hand's actually pretty good otherwise. But I don't care if you kill my, my dirtily dirtles. Mike sounds like he's from Birmingham with that upward inflection. Like, you mean Alabama? Yeah, he's from Alabama. Remember when Sarah Palin could see Georgia from our window? I actually don't want to use this because then they'll get a, a black mana and that's... You know, I thought it was painful. Russia she was seeing. Was it Russia or Georgia? I thought it was Russia. Well, by Georgia, she didn't mean American Georgia. Right. Obviously UK RPG badge. I was just making a little goof. <sighs> Some people, you know. It's like they don't even know how jerks work. In terms of learning phonemes, there are studies suggesting that the part of your brain that learns them kind of stops working after you grow up. Yeah, Michael's brain stopped working after you grow up too. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. This will be my third straight finals loss. Dude, I know that finals loss feeling. And no, I haven't been queued for a while.
And also, you haven't lost yet. So don't don't make it seem like you, you, you're you already dead. So we can go one, two, three, four, five. We can also just draw some cards here. What do you like, Michael? What's your... What do you like? I ain't what? never said no to drawing some cards. I believe you have. I remember that one time you were with your mum and she was like, Michael, you want to draw some cards? And you were like, nah, I'm good, mum. If they just block... I think you don't know shite. I think I know more than you do. About your entire life. Tell him to read your messages in English. In uh, my message, my messages. Oh, I don't know what you're saying right now. Thank you. Chim chim chimaru. Your mother was a chim chim chimaru that one time. Don't I know it? Back in the war. Remember that war? No. Yeah, I knew, I knew you wouldn't. So if we play this and then this, then they can burgle a rat next turn with any land they have, which is not ideal. And if they were going to do something, that's probably the play, because Rhizome Lurch is still a little small. Um, and Deadweight doesn't do much on this board, so it kind of just didn't want to have them. We know the f we know four or five cards in the hand. It's actually pretty good. Four or five cards in the hand, or with two in the bush? <laughs> He's right, they are worth two in the bush. I'd like to think he was uh, that that's not correct, but that actually is true. They are worth that many in the bush. Guy, grip of black cards. Yeah, I know it. I know about your, your grip of black cards. Alright, this is actually a fine trade. I'll make it. If you see a trade, take it. Find Mike B. Make it. Michael B. We're going to crack this and draw some cards, you see. Alright, we're going to play Gonna play the forest and the gorgon. Otherwise known as Richard Gorgi. That's, uh, that's its name, you see. Are you, did you fall asleep, Michael? No, I did this. I don't know. What, I don't know what that is. I just did it. How can you not know what it is? Just because someone does a thing doesn't mean you actually understand what it is. You understand? Do you understand that, Michael? I ain't understand nothing. Oh, yeah, boy, I know it, Michael. My, I know it. This is where they sandbag the sweeper. I don't know if there's a sweeper in this format that's white. But uh, if there is, they... Oh, it's got to be the guild gate. Boy, I know that. I know that luck. I know that luck. Between this and Newmont's Batman impression this morning, today has been fun. <laughs> well, I'm glad you've enjoyed it. It was more like Frank does a British accent and Mike does uh, his best accents from around the world impressions. He was a real variety hour. I have two angelic and the divine interventions. That's that's pretty good. How did we not see both of them? I guess the the other one was like the last card, the last card in the deck. I guess and that would be. They don't stack though. Yeah, yeah, no. Obviously, it's a replacement effect. It says if you make a token, instead you do this. So you can't have two of them. Where's your gray caggle? I don't even know what that means, my friend. Good games, and that would be a a swift and hasty three zero, my friends, with. The Nullhide Ferox deck. It only took a $40 deck. <laughs> He's right. It only did take a $40 deck. But we got seven seven packs out of the deal, which is quite quite the value. I'm not sure if you knew that about packs. Um, it's also a convention that many people go to year after year. Thank you so much, Juposhi, Nature's of the Treasure, for sponsoring this draft and the stipulation that accompanied it. If you guys want to submit your own stipulations, you can do so. You can check out the link on Twitch or the link on Patreon. Uh, additionally... I don't often love to do things with physical restrictions, but this one seemed kind of fun, so... More so, if you want to alter the gameplay or the content of the video, please do that instead. Uh, the content of the draft itself, rather. Uh, please, please do that. Uh, but yeah, you can check me out there, or you can also check meundies.com slash and uh, you'll get 15% off as long as, as well as uh, free shipping and free returns on the most comfortable unders, and the comfortable socks and, and lounge pants and tees, and also onesies. I've heard onesies now, so you can check that out as well, 15% off. Make sure to check out that link. If you guys are going to buy these things anyway, you might as well go through the link. You get a good discount, and... Uh, helps us both out so everybody wins thank you guys so much really appreciate it slam those like and subscribe buttons and uh i'll see you i'll see you and, your, and mike's mom later wow